Hello friends, this is Jess from Knit Plan Jess. Thank you guys so much for joining me on my video today. For my new viewers, welcome and my returning viewers, welcome back. You guys, I have three stacks of books and my reading journal. You know what time it is. It is time for a reading review for March and what I have coming up for at least part of my TBR for April. So for my new viewers, welcome, and my returning viewers, welcome back. Um, if you have seen my other videos, you know that this is normally a collab that I do with Plan with Elise. However, for March, I'm actually collabing with Root from The Crafter Mom. She is linked down below. Um, Elise only read a couple of books, so she just kind of figured, let's merge March and April review together. And, well, you guys know me. I'm like a reading fiend and sometimes I just can't put books down. So I have tons to share with you. Let's jump into it. For starters, we are going to talk about what March meant for me in terms of, um, not necessarily reading, but books. So let's go ahead and jump into these two piles first. Um, so these two piles of books, let's see, let's go with, I'm trying like looking at it like, oh wait, I think I have them stacked wrong. Okay, so these two piles of books, um, these are ones that I paid for. These are ones that were gifted to me and I will kind of go into that more. So April, March was actually a book ban. <laughs> it was a book ban, and yet I still ended the month with seven new books. So let's go ahead and talk about why I decided to do a book ban. So I will 100% admit that a huge part of my behavior, um, especially like when it comes to kind of how I handle bad days, is retail therapy. Okay, so I decided that I wanted to kind of figure out when I do have my moments of retail therapy, how much am I spending and what are better ways, what are ways that I can be able to kind of curb that um, and better handle it. So March was a book ban. And this was actually something that I did on Instagram as well, basically turned it into a giveaway. And it was, you know, <laughs> The goal is to end the month with as little no spend days as possible. So I already had a couple of pre-orders placed. Um, these are pre-orders that were placed in January and February. So the first one was for Love Wager by Lynn Painter. She is a fantastic author. Um, and this was definitely one of the ones that's high on my TBR list. And it released on March the 12th, I believe something like that. Um, I also had pre-ordered a witch's guide to fake dating a demon. Um, this signed it sounded just like a fun fantasy romance. Um, so I've got that one. And then I had two days where I kind of had a break the band day. So one day, well, okay, both of them were days that I was just having a really bad day. So I, I bought In a New York Minute by Kate Spencer. And I bought Over the Fence by Holly Whitworth, who is an indie author. So this is, I believe this is only found on Amazon. But yeah, so these ones were purchased by me. No regrets. But I did, there were a lot of times that like if I wanted to buy a book, I would just move money into my savings and be like, there we go. I, I spent <laughs> that money. And I ended up actually saving quite a bit of money during the month. So I'm really, really proud of myself. So the next three books were gifted to me. So the book, A Love Catastrophe for the Little Giddy um, by Helena Hunting. This was gifted to me from forever as part of a um, advanced reader copy campaign. So I've actually read this already because um, I also got the arc from from NetGalley. So I thought that was really cool. But I do, I definitely want to read, um, basically reread it before it publishes. 
And then I got uh, The Librarian of Burned Books by Brianna Labuskis, I think. And then Verena Palladino's Jersey Italian Love Story by Terry Lindafino. These were both part of the book club girl for our March picks. Um, so super excited to read these. Um, it'll either be, I don't know yet, honestly, I haven't decided yet when I'm going to read them, but they're definitely on the list. So yeah, seven books, four I pre-order, or two were pre-order, two I bought, and then three were gifted. So I can't complain about that. And then I'm going to go over books that, at least physical books that are on my TBR for April. So the first book is Family of Liars. This is actually what I'm reading right now um, by, so I'm 79 pages in, by E. Lockhart. This is actually a prequel to the book We Were Liars, which I found fantastic. So I'm excited to be reading this one. And then I'm going to be reading The Do-Over by Lynn Painter. Um, the book, The Love Wager, is part of her adult collection. The Do-Over is part of her YA collection. I've listened to the audiobook of this, but I'm actually, re I'm actually reading it as part of a group. So I'm excited to basically reread it because it is a phenomenal story. And then I'm also going to be reading the book, The Roommate. This was actually one that I picked up on April 1st to celebrate my book ban being over. And I'm really thinking about reading it, but it's not a definite. Um, I might also just like stick this on the shelf and let Duke pick out <laughs> the book um, because Duke likes to draw little slips of paper from my cup where I have all just like random numbers. So yeah, so these two are definite. This one's a maybe, but I kind of want to read it. All right, and now let's get into the reading journal. So this is Welcome to the Book Club. It is a cover from a Happy Planner. This was a planner that was released in 2020. Uh, my name cut out and then a cover created by Root the Crafter Mom. Check out her Etsy shop below. And we go into my bookshelves. These are for all of the books that I read and I do have them color coded by rating. So pink is five, blue is four, green is three, yellow is two, and one, and gold is either one or DNF. Um, it's most likely gonna be used more for a one star just cause I don't put my DNF books on here, but that's kind of, when I think of one star, I typically think of a DNF as well. So I have them all. I read a ton of three star books, only two five star and like a small handful four star. Um, April has been so much better because I'm already at one five star book. Um, so, you know, I'm excited for that. And then I also marked off a couple of books that I had on my TBR that I read. So I was really, really glad for that. And my Goodreads, we are at 61. I read 21 books for March. Um, the majority of them were audiobooks, but that puts me at 61 for the year. So I love that it's like almost already filled up. That just makes me happy. And then I have my daily reading and whether I read a physical, a Kindle, or an audio. I did have a little bit of a mess up right there, but that's okay. Um, my A to Z, I added in the letter M and the letter W. I'm trying to stick with the A to Z. So number one, I do not have a Y. I'm sorry, I do not have a Z and I do not have an X because those ones are really difficult to fill. But basically, I'm doing any book that has that letter as the title. However, the book has to be a very highly rated. So that's the big thing. And these are all books that I absolutely loved. 
So then DNF, I actually did not have any DNF for March. But then we have my monthly arcs. So this is where March was a really big month for me. I completed 11 advanced reader copies. Now here's the kicker. A few of these I managed to find audiobooks for because they had already published, so they were considered backlist. Um, so out of these 11 arcs, I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them were audiobooks, four of them were um, ebooks. And then Bad Fish Book Club, I actually didn't do anything in March, mainly because I did not add to my bingo board. So I'm trying to come up with some different ideas of how I'm using this section. Um, if you have any ideas, drop them below. I, oh, and also if you want to join our Facebook group, link is, is in the description. But yeah, I'm, I want to come up with ways that I can like maybe use this as part of the Facebook group. And I did finish up Q1 bingo with eight of them. I did not fill the ninth box, but now I've got to start on Q2 bingo. And then 2023 review for March, 21 total, one physical, six Kindle, and 14 audio. So I, excuse me, I feel like I did pretty good there. Um, nothing in 2024 that I can report on yet and no 2024 plans. But then we come to the joyful Joyful Chaos Book Club as part of the Book Club Girl. And basically here, I'm just putting in like a picture of the book that we received that month, because in this way, I can be able to write in uh, like my rating when I read it and maybe just like a little blurb or something from it. Um, I was able to color off one book from the books I currently own. This is basically what I've been using for my physical books, which I do have to add to. <laughs> I'm behind on that. And then we come to the calendar and this is basically where I track the books that I read. I don't use the perpetual calendar, but I do use the currently page. And I basically use a currently page to put, write down my TBR for the month. I do a picture of all the books that I read and then the important dates I've been using for Zooms um, that when we have Zooms with authors and then the calendar we have start and finish for each book and then and I just realized I did not do this for March but I have the number that I read for that month whether it was audio physical or Kindle so then here's February. So I only really write, wrote down a couple of TBR, even though I really technically had more. And as you see, it is, it was so many books that I had to move it to a second little tip in page. And then here's this. So when I started, when I finished, and then actually these I need to glue together. So I will do that after this video. And then we have March. So I did, I really did good with um, my TBR. Now I will admit, um, there was three books on the TBR that I did not read. And I ended up reading something else instead, but that's okay. And then Zoom dates. Um, somehow I managed to lose one of my book pictures, so I will have to reprint that out. But then we come to March, so when I started and when I finished, and I really, really like how it turned out. And it is time to go ahead and update April with Zooms, um, my TBR, and uh, basically, like, I kind of figured out which colors I'm going to be using for my start. Um, I need to update it for the second, and I need to decorate it as well. But I don't know. I love it. I love my reading journal. I love how this really, really motivates me to read. 
And yeah, I can't wait to let you guys know how April ends up going. So let me know if you have any questions, comments. Um, yeah, just drop them down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you go check out Ruth's video as well. Again, it is linked down below. Let her know that I sent you. Uh, if you like her videos, give it, give her videos a like and subscribe, but also give mine a like and subscribe, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you like this. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and enjoy the next video.